Welcome. My name is Marcus Wiesel, and I will be your facilitator for this Hazard Communication and Global Harmonization System presentation. This presentation will survey the HASCOM GHS pictograms, their meanings, and how they fit into hazard communication. If you have any questions or comments, my contact information is listed on the screen. This particular presentation on the hazard communication GHS pictograms will focus upon the second objective listed on the screen. Each participant should be able to identify the GHS pictograms and their basic meanings upon conclusion of this presentation. As you can clearly see on your screen, there are nine hazard communication GHS pictograms. OSHA has jurisdiction over and will enforce the use of all of these GHS pictograms except the environmental pictogram located in the bottom right hand corner which pertains to environmental aquatic toxicity. Before getting into a brief description of what each pictogram represents, let's first discuss what a pictogram is. A pictogram means a graphical composition that includes a symbol plus other graphic elements such as a border, background pattern or color that is intended to convey specific information. In this particular instance, the hazard communication GHS pictograms convey health, physical and environmental hazard information assigned to a single GHS hazard class and category. All hazard pictograms used in GHS should be in the shape of a square set at a point or simply a diamond type orientation. The square shall serve as the outside border and will be red in color. Symbols will be located inside the red border and shall be black in color. Although physical and health hazards are thoroughly discussed in another module, it is important to review the definition of each. A health hazard is related to or determined by the chemical properties of a substance or a mixture that has the potential to cause an injury or an illness to the skin, eyes, respiratory system, or other organs. Hydrogen sulfide gas presents numerous health hazards, for example, because it is a highly toxic substance found in the oil and gas industry and could lead to a life-threatening respiratory emergency. A physical hazard pertains to the chemical properties of liquids, solids, or gases that could lead to an unsafe environment in the workplace. Fire or explosions are prime examples of physical hazards. The nine pictograms present on the screen can be described as exploding bomb, skull and crossbones, flame, gas cylinder, health hazard, flame over circle, corrosion, exclamation mark, and environmental or aquatic toxicity. Five of these pictograms denote physical hazards pertaining to a chemical. The exploding bomb pictogram is used to portray explosives, volatile or unstable explosive organic peroxides, or any type of self-reactive gas uh, substances or mixtures. The flame pictogram is utilized for flammable liquids, gases, aerosols, and solids, in addition to some self-reactive substances. Organic peroxides, pyrophoric liquids or solids, self-heating substances or mixtures, or those chemicals that may emit flammable gases when in contact with water would justify using the flame pictogram. A flame over circle pictogram would denote a chemical that can be characterized as an oxidizing gas, solid, or liquid. Please note also that the flame over circle pictogram is sometimes called the oxidizer pictogram. Showing a semblance of an acetylene tank, the gas cylinder pictogram appropriately represents compressed, liquefied, or dissolved gases. Corrosives, such as strong acids or bases, would require the corrosion pictogram to denote corrosivity of the substance. There are a total of four pictograms denoting health hazards. We see some overlap with the corrosion pictogram because corrosion indeed 
presents not only physical hazards, but also inherent health hazards as well. The skull and crossbones pictogram is used when a particular chemical presents an acute toxicity hazard to the digestive system, respiratory system, or to the skin. In the center of the table shown on the screen, we see the health hazard pictogram, also known as the chronic health hazard pictogram, or silhouette. The health hazard pictogram can be used to communicate significant chemical hazards, such as carcinogenicity, mutagenicity, reproductive toxicity, or teratogens, or teratogenicity, uh, respiratory or respiratory sensitization, specific target organ toxicity, and aspiration toxicity. An exclamation mark pictogram is used to portray health hazards relating to the acute toxicity, skin irritation, eye irritation, specific target organ toxicity, narcotic effects, and skin sensitization. Please note that the exclamation mark pictogram cannot be used when the skull and crossbones pictogram is in use. Furthermore, the exclamation pictogram cannot be used for skin or eye irritation if the corrosion pictogram is in use. Similarly, if the health hazard pictogram is in use to indicate a respiratory sensitization hazard, the exclamation mark pictogram may not be used either in that particular scenario. If you are unfamiliar with some of the words used uh, just a moment ago, I will briefly go over some definitions. Firstly, a carcinogen is a chemical that may cause cancer. A mutagen is a chemical that may lead to abnormal growths like tumors. Teratogens or reproductive toxins are chemicals that may impact the reproductive system such as premature female abortions or even male sterility. The final pictogram we will discuss is the environmental pictogram which is used to represent acute or uh, acute aquatic toxins. Simply put, the environmental pictogram would be used where a chemical substance represents or could present an acute hazard to any aquatic environment such as rivers, streams, lakes, and oceans. Because this presentation is primarily geared towards occupational health and safety standards rather than the transportation of chemicals, we will not be going into too much detail with respect to the transport pictograms. Rather, we will be very brief in our overview in order to introduce you to this subject matter. Transport pictograms are going to incorporate the GHS hazard symbols that we discussed previously, but with a twist. The background, border, and color schemes utilized in transport pictograms will vary with respect to the particular division and class that the chemical falls under within the transport guidelines. Every company must address the issue of whether or not specific employee training will require a survey of the transport pictograms. Moreover, wherever the transport pictograms are in use, it is always a good idea to review the transport pictograms in relation to how chemicals may impact workers in the workplace. Nonetheless, if an individual is aware of the standardized GHS pictograms, a general foundation has already been laid in terms of understanding the hazard associated with specific pictograms. Again, one can clearly see how the GHS pictograms are indeed harmonized with the transport pictograms. Presented above, we see a basic transport pictogram color orientation utilizing the GHS hazard symbols in each. Commercial truck drivers who maintain a hazardous materials endorsement may want to look into these transport pictograms in much more depth. We will now examine each of the hazard communication GHS pictograms individually. The exploding bomb pictogram is presented on screen and represents the following chemical hazards. Explosives, self-reactives, and organic peroxides. Methyl ethyl ketone peroxide and nitroglycerin are two examples of chemicals that may require the exploding bomb pictogram. 
The skull and crossbones pictogram is presented on screen and represents acute toxicity that is extremely fatal or toxic. This is the symbol that will appear on the most severely toxic chemicals. Depending on the toxicity of the chemical, the skull and crossbones indicate that the chemical may be toxic or fatal. Specifically, it can mean fatal if swallowed, fatal if contact with skin occurs, fatal if inhaled, toxic if swallowed, toxic in contact with skin, toxic if swallowed. Arsenic and carbon monoxide are two examples of chemicals that may require the skull and crossbones pictogram. The flame pictogram is presented on screen and represents the following chemical hazards. Flammables, pyrophorics, self-heating chemicals, chemicals that emit flammable gas, self-reactive chemicals, and organic peroxides. A common example would be gasoline or diesel fuel. The gas cylinder pictogram is presented on screen and represents chemical gases under pressure. Propane is a good example of a chemical where we might require this pictogram. The health hazard pictogram is presented on screen and represents the following chemical hazards. Carcinogenicity, mutagenicity, reproductive toxicity or teratogenicity, respiratory sensitizer, target organ toxicity, or aspiration toxicity. Benzene would be a good chemical example of where we might see the health hazard pictogram used because benzene is a known carcinogen. The flame over circle pictogram will be used on chemicals that can be classified as oxidizers which can include oxidizing gases, liquids, and solids. Nitrous oxide is a chemical that could require this particular pictogram. The corrosion pictogram is presented on screen and represents the following hazards. Skin corrosion or burns, eye damage, corrosive to metals. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base that could require this particular pictogram. Hydrochloric acid could also require this pictogram. The exclamation mark pictogram will be used when the following hazards are present for a given chemical. Skin and eye irritant, skin sensitizer, harmful acute toxicity, narcotic effects, respiratory tract irritant, hazardous to ozone layer, although this is non-mandatory. Again, the exclamation mark pictogram will never be used with the skull and crossbones pictogram. Acetone is a chemical that may require the exclamation mark pictogram due to its irritant properties. The environment pictogram is presented on screen. As a reminder, OSHA does not intend on enforcing this particular pictogram. This pictogram will be utilized whenever a chemical can be acutely hazardous to aquatic plants, fish, and crustaceans. This concludes the Hazard Communication GHS presentation on pictograms. Feel liberty to contact me with your, qu with your questions.